Hey, how's it going? Today I'm gonna go over how to draw Llama from Fortnite. It's gonna be real easy, simple, and for beginners. So if you're a beginner, uh, definitely join in. You can do this as well. Should be real easy for you. If not, you could watch and then maybe do it afterwards. So let's get started. I'm gonna use this Crayola brand marker and then paper-wise, this is gonna be regular computer printing uh, paper. All right, let's go. I'm gonna draw a line for kind of the top of the Llama's mouth there, head. Line across, line up. And the reason I want to do that right there is because I want it to, oh, well, let me turn the light on over here. Um, the reason I want to do that is because I want I want the llama to actually, uh, uh, you, you know it's kind of, um, it's kind of square at the front, right? It's a pinata, so line across here. So it's gonna look very polygonal. Line back, line back. We gotta close that off as well. Downward here, downward here. Line up. Line out here, line out here. Across here for the um, Another portion of the mouth because he's going to have kind of his lower jaw sticking out forward in this llama. Downward for the lower portion of the mouth, pulling back. Uh, line down here. He's going to put a circle on that lower jaw because it's going to rotate. Another line here because it's gonna have like that strap that he has um, kind of around the face. Kind of, you know, like the, that you tie the animals with. Line out here, line out here, down. Back of the head. Circle here for the eye dot for the center of the eye. If I'm going too quick, you can always pause, uh, uh, you know, or you can rewind and go back. I'm gonna draw the ears here. And the ears are kind of kind of go up like rabbit ears. Curve back. In, curve in here, in. We're gonna do, go down the neck. So the neck is gonna have these little, it's gonna have a little seesaw pattern here. Same thing down the back of the neck. And when it reaches the body part, it's gonna have a box that he's gonna have on him. So we draw box here and it's gonna be hanging over his side and you can draw like an arrow on it um, you can draw sometimes a couple of different things on it. I'm just gonna draw a simple arrow going up like put something in that box line over here in line over here in Zigzagging all the way down to the leg area. And we're gonna it's gonna go downward here. Line over here, and it's gonna be across the bottom here. It's gonna be flat. We're gonna have his tail coming out the back. 
Uh, before that, if you like learning different things uh, about drawing, if you want to grow that drawing tree in your mind, definitely uh, hit that subscribe button. When you subscribe, it's going to let you know when I post. I'm going to post three beginner drawing videos. So if you like learning new things and like I said, really, you know, like I said, increasing the uh, things you can draw every day, uh, I'm going to be adding three videos every single weekday through the week. So that's 15 videos at the very end of the week. Um, so when you do that, um, you're going to have a lot of choice and I'm putting them on playlists. So for example, if you want to draw, um, you know, Among Us, there's an Among Us playlist with like 20 videos on there with different hats. There's a Pokemon playlist. Hey, I'm going to go draw that today. I want to give you as much choice as you want. So, so you can kind of become the best version, the best artist version of yourself that you can. Um, and so that's kind of it. Uh, subscribe. There's nothing, there's no downside to that. Um, definitely uh, check that out. Pulling over here for the leg, and the leg is, is really just kind of like a pirate leg almost. You know, these like four table legs, essentially they're just kind of... And then at the very bottom of it, you know, they have like a difference in color, that's why I put the line. Also, if you want, you can draw little indications, like little squares of little squares all over the actual uh, just to kind of show like a texture of this pinata texture and then at the very end we're going to draw the tail it's kind of like a like a streamer tail you think of it as like think of it as like these little streamers coming off and that's mostly it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Um, don't forget, I, you know, we're all trying to get better. We're all students of the game. Never uh, be down on yourself. Always kind of think, okay, cool, you can do this. Try it out. You're always pushing your limit a tiny bit. Uh, and then that's how you improve. You're always drawing stuff that you might be uncomfortable drawing. Um, but absolutely try it out. And if you mess up, try it again. Uh, you can always go back to these videos. Um, one last thing as far as the comments go, but us cars in the description. Um, if you like drawing cute stuff, um, check out the, I'm going to put a thick line around the whole thing. If you like drawing cute stuff, absolutely go, uh, uh, check out the free ebook, uh, about drawing cute stuff. Uh, so cute has a very specific, uh, proportion to it. Um, like, so for example, like I, I, I always bring this up, the, uh, among us crewmates, you know, the mini crewmates look way cuter than the regular crewmates. And it's not just the fact that they're smaller on the page. There's something else about them. It's something about their proportion. And I made a chart about that proportion uh, when it comes to anything. And so once you just look at that a little bit, you'll understand what I'm talking about instantly, no matter at what drawing level you're at. It's for beginners specifically though. And you will be able to draw cuter stuff like better in, in initially. So go check that out. I put that on there for you to improve. Um, you know, you can draw these cool drawings on your own. Drawing just cute stuff when you're sitting down there in your sketchbook or or drawing just kind of uh, anything you want as you're just waiting around the doctor's office or, you know, being able to draw what you, what you want out of your mind. Let's say you had an idea and you're like, you know what? I had this idea for a character. How do I do that? Um, that's kind of what these are for, you know? These are to kind of get your hand around that. So if you want to draw like a pinata as a maybe a full-blown rabbit or something you might remember this texture thing right you're texturing this you, you remember doing that you have the muscle memory in your hand um you know all this stuff is meant for you to be able to draw anything you want um thank you so much if if what i do here is uh you know worth your time please share a video share it anywhere it brings a tremendous amount of positive boost to the channel um, and I love hearing your feedback. Let me know in the comment section. This is easy pictures to draw and I will see you very, very soon.